Today for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about understanding patterns. A pattern is something that repeats. You may see patterns and shapes and objects all around you. Let's go ahead and take a look at these shapes. So when I look at these shapes, I need to start kind of looking at them carefully. I see a triangle square pentagon, triangle square pentagon, triangle square pentagon. So I'm seeing a pattern that is repeating. So I see that I have a triangle square pentagon and then I'm back to a triangle. So I know that my pattern is a triangle square pentagon and then it keeps going. So if I wanted to continue this pattern after this pentagon, I know I would have a triangle because that's the pattern. That's the rule. A rule is a procedure that is followed to continue that pattern. So I know that I would have to continue that pattern um, with a green triangle and then a blue square and a purple pentagon. So here is another pattern, okay? So let's start with the smallest pattern first and try to see and identify what the rule might be. So as I look at my smaller one, I see that I have, I see that I have one square and then I have a square in each corner, okay? So when I move over to the next pattern, I see that same square but now I see two at each corner. And then when I move to the next one, I see that now I have three in each corner. So if I wanted to figure out what predict the next pattern, or what that rule was, is I would add just one more square to each corner, okay? You can also see patterns on hundreds charts. So if you look at my highlighted columns here, my yellow, and my blue, if I wanted to figure out the pattern that they were showing here on my hundreds chart, I see I have a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So as I think about this pattern, it seems that I'm going up by 5 each time. So my pattern would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, to try to determine my pattern is I could use my hundreds chart and I could count up from the first one. One, two, three, four, five. I also need to make sure that it still applies. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, each time I go up to my yellow or my blue, I am adding five. So, my rule would be to add five. So, for this hundreds chart, if I had to predict what would be highlighted next, I would add 5 to 40 to get 45. So let's take a look at the blue numbers first. And I'm going to try and figure out the pattern, the rule that I see here. So I see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So as I move up to the numbers, I see that I'm going up by 2 each time because 2 plus 2 is 4 and then two plus four is six, and two plus six is eight. So my rule for this particular pattern would be to add two, okay? So let's take a look here at my orange pattern, okay? So as I go up, two, four, eight, 16, 32, I know my numbers are getting bigger faster, okay? And when I know when I go from two to four, I can add two, but I can't just add two to get from four to eight. So I'm gonna try and multiply by two. So two times two is four, and two times four is eight, and two times eight is 16, and two times 16 is 32. That seems to be my rule for this pattern, is to multiply by two. So if I were to predict what my next number would be, I would have to multiply 32 by two which would get 64, and I can continue this pattern, okay? So know that you can create patterns using the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And visualizing these patterns and identifying their role can help us better understand the problems and solutions to some of our math problems.